Um, so I saw these pots on Pinterest a while ago, and I really wanted to make them and document them for my IV art class. So I thought if I recorded some narration, it, it would make a little bit more sense in this crazy video what is going on. So in this first video, I'm making a test piece. Um, this was my first attempt at trying to make this tall, long bottleneck shape. So I wanted to make something that was smaller and more manageable, and that way I can experiment on it without having to sacrifice a bigger piece. But because I'm making these in two pieces, I need the bottoms to dry a little bit before I add the tops on so that they don't collapse on itself when I start attaching. So here's the body of one of my bigger pieces. This is about seven or eight-ish pounds. And the first thing when I started pulling, I noticed that uh, it started to warp on me, which meant that the walls were a little bit too thin and probably a little bit off center just by the way I pulled it. And I wasn't very happy with this shape, so I decided to throw another one. And on my second attempt, I probably used eight or nine pounds rather than seven or eight, which left me a little bit more wall um, when I started pulling, which I also was more conscious about how I pulled. So this time it ended up a lot cleaner and even around the outside. And I just ribbed it to make sure that everything looks good. And I let these sit for about an hour to two hours. And I heat gunned one of them just to make sure that everything was good. So here I'm making a spout. And I'm attaching it on this piece. And as soon as I sealed it, it collapsed. <laughs> and the reason why it collapsed was because there was a thin spot on the original piece, the bottom part. And as soon as I put the weight of the second piece on top, it decided to start to fold on me. Which I guess if you let this bottom piece sit a bit, it wouldn't have done it as dramatically, or it might have still, but um, good to know that uh, that wasn't the way to go with that piece. So I scrapped that idea, and I decided to make the top part for a bigger piece and try it then. Um, the first thing I do is I seal it super well. I move the clay down and attach it to the body. And my first thought was if I just pull the top part straight up and then collar it in, I'll get the height I need. But what hap ended up happening was I never got the height because um, there's only so much clay you can pull up. So instead I altered my thought process and decided just to collar and pull with a bit of a sponge or a, a, a paintbrush, which let me get in there and just thin out the top part. And that one worked a lot better, so I just kept uh, pulling. But the more I pulled, the more uneven the bottom got, which I guess is natural, as I just added some clay on top of a body that was, um, it amplifies the, the unevenness of it. Uh, so very uneven, but I ended up trimming it down, and you see later. And I just kept pulling until the spout was the like the height I wanted. And then here I decided to try this again with another piece that I threw. But this piece was made with some very old clay and it was super hard to center and it was not even at all. So when I tried to put this on top, um, the unevenness amplified and I could not get it to stay on top. So I cut it off. Um, after it got super wobbly and I just tried to make the bottom as even as I could. I even recolored it and repulled and everything and I couldn't get it centered but I thought what what else can I do besides just throw a top on it and see if it'll work and um, this one ended up being one of my favorites because it's so thin and tall but as I added this top part on I didn't really try to focus on getting the bottom super even, so it's a very wonky looking piece, but in comparison to the other ones, it just looks natural because they're all just tall, really spouted pieces. And um, if I could do this differently, I probably would have added a shoulder or a defined shoulder onto this piece before I added the top, because looking back, the shoulder is very subtle. And with any piece that is super large and has a round side or curvature, I always trim them because they never look even when you throw them. So I decided to trim this one. Um, my first thing to do when I trim this is to is get the bottom super narrow and then just trim straight up. And those are the finished products of my bottles. I have a couple more in there. Um, I didn't show all of the bodies, so this was something fun that uh, came out of a weekend of throwing.